day 25 Isaiah chapter 61 verses 1 to 3 The spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of the vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn in Zion to give them a garland instead of ashes the oil of gladness instead of mourning the mantle of praise instead of a faint heart they will be called oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord to display his glory meditation in this passage we can see isaiah presenting a different kind of leadership remember how in isaiah chapter 11 the messiah would reign over a restored creation a new eden with lions lying down with lambs and children playing over snake pits inspired leadership messianic in hope works to secure the well-being of the whole creation top to bottom we can remember too in isaiah chapter 11 the messiah would reign over a restored creation a new eden with lions lying down with lambs and children playing over snake pits inspired leadership messianic in scope works to secure the well-being of the whole creation top to bottom we can also remember in isaiah chapter 42 how the servant would bring a light to the nations justice to the earth the torah to the coastlands inspired leaders have a profound impact beyond borders outside the confines of a single nation and certainly beyond a people constricted by church and synagogue walls in today's reading from isaiah chapter 61 the spirit's work goes deep rather than wide to the oppressed the imprisoned the bottom feeders inspired leaders envelop those who mourn in zion the nation's weakest those with a faint spirit will receive a mantle of praise there were apparently plenty of ruined people in the prophet's day a motley band of broken just a few pages earlier in the book of isaiah this particular prophet paid attention to the eunuchs men excluded from worship in the temple No one who are eunuchs shall be admitted to the assembly of the Lord Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 1 But in the prophet's fresh vision even a faithful eunuch will have a place in my house and within my walls a monument and a name better than sons and daughters Inspired leaders do not need to be conspicuous to be effective. Sometimes inspired leaders need to be invisible among the faint, the weary, the worn, those who wander in the uninvited off the street into our midst. There is no stopping the spirit. Better yet, there is no stopping a leader. whether a messiah or a servant or a prophet whom the spirit of god anoints her words his words yours too are good news to the oppressed to men who are crushed under the weight of society's censures prayer holy spirit i have no need for grand visions strategic plans blueprints for success bury me instead among the faint the weary the worn i have no need for great speeches striking sermons thunderous applause 
busy me instead with laughter a word play or two mirth amen <laughs>